picture like that tells a story, doesn't it? So how deep do your roots go? And I'm not that deep. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want to try and pull that one out, would you? <laughs> um, so really it's about saying, okay, the deeper the roots and the more the biomass that we've got there, then the better the soil structure would be too. It just follows, doesn't it? But the roots and the biology will create its own structure, so it's a, a bit of a chicken and egg situation as well. Um, but, you know, you've got the capacity there to draw on a lot more nutrients in that whole root depth and retain a lot more moisture and also tap into the moisture that's further down, okay? Um, so, essentially, farming deeper is cheaper, you know? Um, it makes a lot of sense. No matter what fertilizers you use or, or what you do, it's really essential that we get the soil to work a lot deeper than what it's currently probably doing. Can, you have, can I just ask, it will depend on the, the, the plants you're trying to grow or the type of grass and you're trying to grow for some I mean, yep. I don't know, but I mean, does clover grow to that length, or I mean, presuming not, or rye what? grass obviously has different length? Your rye grasses, that's your rye grass there. You can see by the seed head. Um, your rye grasses will have their roots going down to around about, uh, looking at that, about the same as a power annual, about six or seven feet. All right, that's the capacity of the plant. But what we're doing is we're not recognising that and not allowing it to perform there. And we'll talk about um, we'll talk about that, and that's why I've got some of those instruments over there that, that we can do some demonstrations with later on. We can even pop outside and have a bit of a dig around outside. Um, but at the end of the day, it's about recognising that that is the potential, and let's see where we are at in our own situation, knowing that that's a potential. If the roots don't go down six or seven feet in most cases. You know, there's a good line to be taken, or at least four or five feet across there, then we're not farming cheaper. We're not farming deeper. Most farming operations wouldn't be anywhere near that. No. And so why are we accepting that? That's right, we shouldn't be. We yeah. Do, we just, you know, it's just accepted as normal, I guess. I don't know whether, I must admit, I was surprised at how deep they potentially they can go. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Loose end's a good example. It can go down 30 feet or 10 metres. So, um, you know, it, it, provided it's got the capacity, the, the, the structure's there, then it'll do that. Um, there's a few other things that come into play as well, but uh, usually it's a, a result or a function of the soil structure. And then what we need to do then is say, okay, why is a structure like that? Is it because we've actually done some mechanical work on there? Is it because our stocking rates have um, predicated? Is it because we've had some really dry seasons and everything's just solidified on, in the soil itself? There's a number of reasons. I mean, the natural chemistry of the soil can create layers as well. And um, so what do we do? We accept that, that that's the way it is, or do we then start managing around that and um, building that soil depth and structure a bit more?